It's finally here. I'm finally doing it. I'm bringing this tier list to life. And by the end of this video, I'm going to make you agree with me because this is very important for everyone, everyone, for everyone and anyone who is playing on a Sheik Island to know. You're going to have to memorize this. So pay attention. We're going to start off with the Stronghold key card. I think Stronghold key cards since season two kind of became the median. We will be judging this entire tier list and all the keys based on the value that they provide. So if they give like I don't know, a three plate vest, or if they give like a large backpack, that's basically 30,000, 35,000 of value. So we're gonna, we're gonna base it off on that. And we're also gonna decrease points on it based on how difficult it is to get that loot. So stronghold key cards, kind of the median, because you actually have to fight enemies for it, but you will also get sometimes good loot for it. So let's start with stronghold key card B, all around the Sheik Island, stronghold key card B. Next up, we got the Beach Club Bathhouse. Now the Beach Club Bathhouse, this is an interesting one. So there are no enemies to fight, but the loot inside it is very inconsistent. So it's like you could basically get three gold three gold bars, or maybe you can also get like a three plate vest, or you can get a backpack, a medium backpack, or you can just get like some items that you can sell for. I think the value is lower than a stronghold key card, but I think the difficulty of how you get these items is also lower. So already already a tough one i'll go with b i'll change it later if it needs to be changed for the city hall it's very difficult you get a bunch of loot in there but it's very difficult there are armored enemies inside it's a fortified stronghold honestly the key itself is just not that great so let's put that into c city hall hideout definitely c drifting supply bag now drifting supply bag this is a very good key I, I guess the value brings it up it's not that difficult to get the 75k inside the drifting supply bag so that that's definitely an a float some cargo cash key Okay, so the Floatsome Cargo Cache, that's an interesting one. The Floatsome Cargo Cache will always have two gold bars inside and one key. One key, extra key, which basically means that you can get a Floatsome Cargo Cache key inside the Floatsome Cargo. It's an interesting one because it doesn't really provide any value except for the calling card progress. Unless you're one of those people that sell gold bars, then I guess you would get 16k out of it. But it can perpetuate into infinity. Let's say B. It's really easy to get. It's really easy to get 16k. Um, and plus it's really likely that you're going to keep the key and that you're going to get another key for it that might be even more valuable. So let's leave it in B. Not a lot of value, very easy to get. HMS Shipwreck Key. Well, kind of like the, the Drifting Supply Back Key, you get a Golden Skull plus the Drifting Supply Back Key inside it. So automatically it's in the same rank as sub Drifting Supply Back. But there is a lot of distance between HMS Shipwreck and the Drifting Supply Back, which could potentially be like... Oh, you could get killed because you're driving on water to get to the drifting supply bag now. That's not overcomplicated. Let's leave it in A. Hotel Fridge Key. So the Hotel Employee Fridge Key, it's actually really trash. Let's put that in trash. The Sheik Island Information Booth Key. Now this is an interesting key because usually it doesn't provide a lot of value, but it's easy to get. But there's an additional caveat to it. You can see what's inside before you open it. So technically that could make it more efficient in regards to the place you're looting, you can see what's inside. If you can see the inside and you see that it's trash, which it usually is, then it's unlikely that you're going to open it, therefore wasting an entire game and you're going to have to infill again, which means that the key is just not worth it. I mean, me personally, I would still pick it up and just go check, but I would not keep it in my inventory. That's for sure. Lost Room 403 key. That's a really good key. Um, I think Think an enemy could spawn inside but the value is also good if you put beach club into b then lost room 403 is also b no let's put that into a lost room 403 has a chance to spawn the three plate vest much much higher than the beach club bathhouse i've seen it in the lost room 403 way more often than i did in beach club bathhouse therefore it raises up the value of lost room 403 farmer's lunchbox that's basically trash Every time I've opened it, there was nothing inside, not even a drill, not even gun oil, nothing. Nothing of value is in the farmer's lunchbox. Main Harbor Control Room Key. Main Harbor Control Room Key is just literally the best key on a Sheik Island. There is nothing better than the Main Harbor Control Room Key. Basically, what you get is a bunch of loot. You can gear up an entire team. You can get up to three, three plates in there, up to three large backpacks, gold bars, GPUs. There's a legendary chest inside. It will also drop the water pump control key, but that one's just useless, doesn't matter. But the main harbor control room key is just the best. Like, it can literally gear up your entire team and provide you a ton of money. 
So that was just the best. Manager's office key is also S. Every time you open the lost manager's office, you will get a main harbor control room key inside as well. So you can basically just go across the road and boom, get all the loot from in main harbor control room key as well. So that's pretty good. Then next up, we have the mud covered cache. Now the mud covered cache, it's not good. It's not good. There's nothing inside it except for two keys. And I think it's the SC grunt, uh, SC grunt footlocker key and uh, um, secure B21 cache key. I think those are inside and none of those are good places to loot, not even on Almazra. So it's basically just kind of trash. And we're just going to leave it there. Trash. Mud covered cache key. Trash. Research center. That's definitely a good one. You can definitely gear up an entire team there as well. Usually have up to two plate vest, um, up to two, three plate vests inside. Um, there's a bunch of lockers. There's a GPU chance, a bunch of gold bars. It's just, it's just an S tier loot. Definitely the best. Rusted fridge key. That's the one in beach club. It's not good. It's not good. Engineer toolbox, combat engineer toolbox, also trash. Don't pick that up key. Don't pick that key up. The, the value you get for it is nothing. You don't even get gun oil inside. Um, if there was at least like in one of these toolboxes, like the engineer toolbox or the firmus launch box, if there was at least gun oil inside or a drill inside, like something that would guarantee your progress on a mission, then that would really raise up these keys, but they're just trash. There's nothing to, nothing to them. Two castle hideout key is definitely good. You got a lot of gear, but there's also a lot of strong components in there. So it would be the same as a stronghold. Definitely not the same as City Hall because it's way easier to defeat Tsuki Castle opponents than it is to defeat City Hall opponents. So Tsuki Castle definitely has an edge on City Hall and it's kind of compared to a stronghold. Plus you get the weapon case inside, which could give you 10k experience. So eh. it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, like you can easily uh, gear up an entire team in the Tsuki Castle for sure. So yeah. Let's keep that in B, it's definitely B. Waterlog bag. Uh, I'm a bit biased when it comes to these kind of things. Definitely biased because waterlog bag is going to give you one golden bar. Well, the value, I, okay, I, I'll, I'll put it down. It's it's only one gold bar. The waterlog bag will only give you one gold bar, but it's zero trouble for it. Um, and that's it. I would just value it higher because I am someone who actually tries to loot for gold bars as someone who is actually actively trying to get the 2k gold bars inside the game. So waterlog bag key is higher on my list than other keys, but definitely not a good one in regards to this tier list. Uh, we get the water pump control, trash. Waterway maintenance kit is, it's not trash. Um, it's actually pretty good. There are four slots inside that toolkit and usually it'll have all four self revives. Well, not all four. It's basically what I've seen the most is like three self revives and one um, revive pistol. So it's not exactly a value, but if you look at it from shop's perspective, it's definitely like four times 7.5k, which is 30k technically, because you can self res four times when you open this. But that's basically where it ends. Like you can get you can get a self res for the entire team, but there's not much value besides that because you can't sell it and you can't buy anything else for it. And then the final one, Tsugi Castle Weapons Locker Key. Well, this one is kind of meh. Of course, you can get a GPU inside. That's kind of cool. But other than that, there's nothing inside. So GPUs and money. And there's only a chance for the GPU. It's not guaranteed. So I think it belongs in B because it's it's actually quite difficult to get to it. You first need to open the Tsugi Castle. Then you have to fight the reinforcements and then you can finally get to it. And even then, you might not even get uh, $60,000 from the GPU. You might get some cash and some options for the weapons, but those weapons are not really that great to compare compared to the insured slot that you infill. There's the entire tier list. Uh, these are definitely the keys that I would always keep. Always try to use them up, especially if I have zero gear. This is the main key, the main harbor control room key. I, I would definitely take that into a Sheik Island if I spawn with no gear. And then I would beeline to the main harbor control room. And yeah, I would avoid these keys in the trash. I would just, I would always leave them on the floor. These are the keys that I would not collect. I would just leave them there. I would think about these keys. So City Hall, I would usually leave it on the floor. Waterway maintenance key, leave it on the floor. Usually, if, if I need a self-revive, I'll take it. Uh, Waterlock key, I would always pick it up because I am hunting for gold bars. But it's only one gold bar, so it's usually not worth it. And then the information booth key is like, nah. 
I'm gonna pick it up if I'm close to the uh, Sheik Island information booth, otherwise I would just leave it on the floor. And then the Tsuki Castle weapon locker key, I know that people would hunt for GPUs, so I would pick it up so that I could help other people, that's basically it. Otherwise I would leave it on the floor. Like the hassle to get the GPU is just not worth it. The Tsuki Castle key, I always have one spare in my inventory because I like to go into the Tsuki Castle from down below. Hold some cargo cash key, that's a must for me. I would always have it in my inventory. The Beach Club bathhouse key, I usually use it up since I like to infill into a Sheik Island with this key a lot. Uh, and I usually spawn there, so it's basically like 1-2 and it's gone. Stronghold key card, I have a bunch of those, um, but that's kind of like the golden standard now. Lost Room 403, I would pick it up, I would go there. HMS Shipper key, I would pick that up. Drifting Supply Bag key, I would not pick that up. It, it is it, it is a valuable key, but it's just not worth the hassle for me. I would never go to the Drifting Supply Bag. I just, I can't be bothered like driving all the way out there and then pick everything up and then go back, sell everything and then buy my stuff. I would just try to loot a stronghold at that point. But yeah, these are a must have. Research Center key, uh, Lost Manager's Office key, and the Main Harbor Control Room key. That's it for the tier list. I hope you got something out of it. I wanted to do this video for a while, and you better make sure you remember this tier list because the next time you see these keys, I don't want you to pick up trash, and I want you to pick up what's good. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video.